now to fill in the rest of our grid. We'll activate that component, go back into here, and we're going to edit our sketch. What we want is we want a bunch of rectangles making up our grid. Now, of course, we could just draw those rectangles manually, but I'm going to show you a combination of really cool tools that will make it nice and efficient for us. First thing we're going to do is turn off those bodies, and we're going to draw a line, L for line, that crosses that span across our soap dish. So, we're going to create a rectangular pattern. This is really helpful. There's also a circular pattern here. This is really helpful for efficiently copying something that needs to be repeated or again and again. I'm going to select my line, and what I want to do is come over here. I've got a couple of different options. I can determine the direction that's heading in, uh, the extent, or I can do it by spacing. We're going to go extent, and I'm going to go in symmetric, which means that I can drag it out. 47 mil sounds good. We've got three lines now. So as I increment that, it'll go four, five. And as I increment that, it's going to try its best to symmetrically distribute those across the span. So four, note, doesn't include the end bit here. But if I go to five, there I have it in. So we'll keep going till it looks all right. Uh, we'll go nine. I think it looks fine. Go OK. Now, of course, at the moment, there's no thickness to any of that. But that's all right. You know, finish the sketch. Now, our sketch has disappeared, so we'll turn that back on. To generate that width, I'm going to come over here to Create. And we're going to go Web. I'm going to select all of these. Remember, going left means I select them all. And I want to add 2 mil. Now, it's coming up with errors, but if I flip the direction, there we are. So that's 2 mils in total. I might go 4 mil and go OK. I think that looks excellent. That was rectangular tool plus the web tool. And when you put it all together, turn that body back on, go back to our soap dish. We've now got a grid that perfectly fits our soap dish. And you can see in our man timeline, we've now got lovely color coded sections that we can go back into and be nice and clean. The beautiful thing about Fusion 360 is that you can always ask the question, well, what next? And it's easier to make those changes. So if you stick around for the next video, we'll do some minor improvements like adding a sloped section and a drainage hole. But otherwise, you have now finished your third project.